Joining me now, actress, producer, Grammy Award winning Christian artist and Trump campaign advisory board member, Kaya Jones. Kaya, it's great to see you. Kaya, I didn't know that Monica Lewinsky was a Democrat, but I just checked her Twitter feed and it looks like she's a big Biden supporter. You'd think it's kind of weird that she'd be supporting Democrats, especially considering how, treatly, uh, like how poorly they treated her back in the day. Yeah, I mean, she was very young. I know she was just starting her career. So I, uh, I don't know. That's that's odd. That's <laughs> yeah, odd. Definitely. I'm, I'm sure yeah. you've been keeping track of some of the celebrity meltdowns over how close this election has been. Uh, what are some of your top favorites? Uh, well, I definitely don't like the Janelle Monet one. That that for me is uh, too divisive. Uh, definitely not bringing the country together. I'm not sure if she deleted it or not. Are you? Do you know if she did the, the post? Yeah. Okay. So uh, just to be clear, we we have a screenshot of the post that says F. Donald Trump and every American citizen, celebrity, white woman, black man, etc., who supported him. Burn. And, you know, she's just like saying this from her ivory towers. Look how nice her bathroom shower was in the background. And you look at this election results, too, by the way. You see that the working class supported President Trump, and we saw a, a number of yeah. Latinos go up in supporting President Trump. Um, so, you know, this isn't like, it's just terrible that these celebrities would say something. And we get that, that uh, she doesn't like that this election has been too close uh, but that's right. you know her opinion and she, and she shouldn't be criticizing people especially people who once probably liked her music well not only that I mean saying things like anything that's inciting violence on another human being like you know people can take that literal and go somewhere with it and this is the thing is you know President Trump really represented the common people the common man and and they did in 2016 and they did again in 2020 and I think uh, not the right thing to say to people who have had a very rough year with the COVID lockdowns, loss of their businesses, their jobs. Very hurtful to say something like that, I think. Not really what, uh, what music is about, bringing people together. Yeah, and, and you see a lot of these celebrities complaining. Some of the same celebrities that promised that they were going to move to Canada or another country if President Trump was elected the first time. But I don't think, to my count, not one of them has left. Not a single one, Stephanie, not a single one. Very strange, isn't it? That uh, it's been a lot of hate for the past four years for most of us. We've had to hear a lot of hatred being spewed and uh, somehow we're, we're, we're still fighting for America. We still love this country more than words. And if they don't like it, you know, there are 200 plus other countries they can move to. Yeah, and I'm sure you've been keeping track of some of the celebrities that have come out in support of President Trump, especially some of the rappers, including Little Pump. He was supporting President Trump. I believe he went to the White House. He attended a rally in Florida. And now he's lost almost 300,000 followers on Instagram for coming out as a Trump supporter. Yeah, no, I... Listen, you know very well in the industry we're in, it's a, it's a tough one when you come out as a conservative in any way, shape, or form. Uh, for myself, I've dealt with suppression in my content from minute one. You know, my numbers don't move. Somehow my engagement will move, but my numbers don't reflect the engagement. So it's very strange. So I'm not surprised that he's dealing with some of this. It could be bots. It could be uh, people just, you know, hearing the noise and listening to more of the mainstream side of the fence and believing in that um, instead of actually hearing what President Trump has to say and, and you know what what he has to say as an artist saying why he supports him. I don't even know if he's actually been able to do that. Yeah. And, and what do you think about this? So people are wondering like how important a celebrity endorsement really is. For example, some of these rappers coming out to support Trump. Does that make a difference? Um, I think in a situation in a time where so much divisiveness uh, coming against one another, black and white, that we have so much hatred in this country, which is not the case, not true. Um, I think in that way, especially when he worked on his platinum plan, um, having the black community come forward and have and, and mainly the rap community is the African-American community. So when they are saying, hey, I'm getting behind this, that's a positive thing in, in my eyes. I mean, we need to have change in certain sectors and, and the fact that he was ready and willing to do something uh, says a lot. And I think they've gotten a lot of flack. I know that Ice Cube's gotten a lot of flack for sure. 
Oh, absolutely he did. I saw on Twitter yeah. he was pushing back because Ice Cube didn't even really give President Trump an endorsement. He was just saying, like, I want to work with the Trump administration to help the black wow. community, minorities. And so he took to Twitter to address this backlash against him. He said, and this was just on November 5th, he says, let me get this straight. I get the President of the United States to agree to put over a half trillion dollars of capital in the black community without an endorsement and n-word are mad at me lol like laughing faces have a nice life so uh, he's not gonna back down it sounds like although we saw 50 cent kind of change his mind because of the backlash so uh, we see what happens to these rappers when they come out well yeah i mean 50 cent you know he has uh eminem was supporting biden right and his ex as well uh who actually was topless showing her her breasts to try and get people to vote um yeah, I think Ice Cube taking a stance of wanting to do more for his community is what it's about. And so I don't know how more people aren't saying, hey, this is a good thing. They had one party who wanted to wait until after the election, um, which we can see is going to take some time. And the other one that was ready to go and put something into effect. Uh, so, you know, God willing, let's hope it goes more in one favor than the other. But it's definitely leaning toward the courts now. So. Yeah, I was going to say, well, it's Friday. We still don't know who the next president in the United States is. If Trump is reelected, I wonder if those folks who said they were going to go to Canada the first time will maybe go to Canada this time. We'll have to wait and see. Thank you, Kyle. We appreciate your time. Thank you.